Hey guys, Vinch Kid here back. I sorry for the uh, long um, absence from YouTube. I've been busy with a lot of school, work, all that kind of fun stuff. But I'm back, and that's all that matters, right? So today we're gonna talk about why I collect autograph cards. Autograph cards like signed vintage. Index cards, postcard, like stuff like this. Um, so part of the reason why I collect signed cards, here's Phil Rizzuto, 52 tops auto. Here's why. So part of the reason is that most of the time these autos are a lot rarer on the cards. So you won't, you won't, you don't find them as often as you do like the actual just straight up card. Um, so finding these signs is a little bit more difficult to find for one, and two, these cards, I mean, they won't, most of these guys aren't alive to sign anymore, so just knowing that this player held this card and had the, and just signed it, it creates a whole other story, like where did this get signed, why did it get signed, like all this stuff. Because back in the day, you wouldn't sign cards like these. So I'll go through a couple of cards that I have, or I've gotten recently. So you guys have probably seen these guys. Ready, right, Gumper Auto. So this is my main set I collect. 50 tops, as some of you may know. For those that are new, I never formed registry. So these are some I need to submit. That's a nice one. And Fire's Fame. And Gene Hermansky. I'll save that guy for last. And these two, Harry Brasheen and Lou Brissy. Lou Brasheen's pretty tough. But they would do is erase the name and want the player to sign it, but Harry Brasheen didn't want to do that for whatever reason. Who knows? Who knows? So Here's a couple of Hall of Famer autographs. Well, actually, I'll show these. I'll show these first. Here's Hank Sauer cut autograph. I have this on those 52 tops. And I forget who this guy was. He's not. A, he's not a guy you guys would know. But still, he had a really. This guy had a cool autograph, so that's why I picked that one up. Um, and then here's my newest sign 52 tops this is an upgrade red sheen deans beautiful black sharpie I wish it was ballpoint pen but that's okay still an upgrade still an upgrade Enos Slaughter Beautiful autograph here. And the, even the card's in really nice shape. Good old Enos Slaughter. And he was and he was pretty cheap actually. So next we're gonna go into some of my index cards. Here is cool Papa Bell. And this is just the cert. There's the little cert here. Beautiful card. He's not signing anymore because he's no longer living, but this is a Negro League player. I want to collect more of these Negro League autographs. I think they're cool considering that I'm in Kansas City. Considering I'm in Kansas City. Here's a postcard signed by Eddie Matthews. Beautiful. Joe Adcock and Eddie Matthews on there. Too bad, add cock. No, I would love to send that in just to have him sign it. So these two cards, I sent these through the mail. This guy's cool because this guy is from my hometown. Oh, he's from my hometown, Lee Summit, Missouri. You guys will have no clue where the heck that is, but that's my hometown. And then Steve Farr, and he was not very good, but 
still Kansas City Royal. And he's actually from Missouri as well. Because I'm from Missouri. Next one, we have Mel Stoudemire. His, this is not a really good autograph. I need to upgrade this one, but... Mel Stoudemire, pitcher for the Yankees. Not he's he's was a pretty decent pitcher, but he wasn't Hall of Fame caliber. He's just a good like little middle of the rotation guy, if you want to say. Next, this guy you may recognize the name. So this is Johnny Sane. So Johnny Sane, he's known for having his fifty-two tops card with the Joe Page error. So if you guys have that card, you, that's a very expensive card. So, because like, like the 50 Tops card has like, it's a 50 Tops and the back has a like Joe Page's bio or whatever. So that's a pretty cool, pretty cool little error card. And then this autograph is pretty nice. I love this auto. And that's a two from 2010. So and a couple of autograph balls I got recently. This is of Willie Wilson. I mean Willie McGee, not Willie Wilson, but Willie McGee, Cardinal. He won the he won the World Series this, that year. And this guy, you've seen this guy in the background a lot of videos. But this is Eddie Matthews. Signed a baseball. That it's I, I for this I always get it certified. Beckett, especially when it's ho old Hall of Famers like that. Here is Mark McGuire, and this one is an LB certification. Mark McGuire. I got that for my birthday, actually, when I was a kid. Um, so yeah, that's a that's only a handful of my autographs. Um, another cool card I did pick up though. This is not autographed, but this is a cool card I just picked up to, um, today. So I don't have an American Carmel in my collection, so not in the best shape, but Huey Jennings. Huey Jennings, American Carmel, pretty old, 1909-1911. Back is really bad, but who cares with the back? The front doesn't look terrible. It looks like it's from 1909. I don't like I don't like having my cars like in, in complete pristine condition. I want them to look somewhat vintage, not perfect condition like a modern card. So, love love that car. That's my new pre-war. That's my new favorite pre-war. Uh, but anyway, that's all for my short little video. Um, I promise I won't be out for too long this time around. Um, I should be, I'm on spring break right now, so I might be having a lot more videos coming out, all that kind of fun stuff. So, um, but again, autographs, they will be the new norm, as you'll see soon, at some point. At some point, pre-war, autographs, pre-war. Love it. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed watching. This is Vintage Kids signing out. Peace.